Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and another vlog. Today I will be sharing with you what we got up to during our child free 48 hours in Manchester. I hope you enjoy this vlog and it gives you some ideas of things to do if you are planning on visiting Manchester soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. So we have just arrived in Manchester for a child free couple of days. We've got a full, a jam packed couple of days. We're stopping at the Dakota Hotel in Manchester, which is absolutely amazing. Um, we can't check in until later. So we just checked our bags in for now. And now we are just off to explore a little bit of the city. After enjoying a nice coffee at Duchy Street Warehouse which is a fantastic place with lots of places to eat and drink, we headed into the city centre to have a wander around town where there are lots of high street shops as well as some really cute arcades. Getting around Manchester is easy by either walking or there is also a really convenient tram. After a little look around the town, we made our way to the corn exchange area where there are lots of bars and restaurants to suit whatever type of cuisine you fancy. We'd actually booked in for bottomless brunch at Tampopo, which is a pan-Asian restaurant serving some of the most delicious East Asian food, plus we also had a few cocktails. Whenever Nick and I go out, we always end up swapping our food halfway through. Whenever we're with people, they think it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, you end up getting to try loads more food and get the best of both worlds. The best of both, prawns and chicken. Prawns and chicken. So Nick's just having my prawn pad thai now, and then I'm going to have some of the Singapore chicken.
After lunch, we headed to Treetop Golf, which was only across the road from the Corn Market Exchange area and was honestly such a good laugh, um, probably as well because we were also both a little bit tipsy from our bottomless brunch. to go is pretty much neck and neck. I'm on 50 and Nick's on 51. It's all to play. It's for the win. Just finished the mini adventure golf and oh my god it was so much fun. I would definitely recommend doing if you come to Manchester. Even more fun because I actually ended up winning. Which how do you feel that I ended up winning? It was a cheat. <laughs> no, I definitely ended up winning. Once we had finished golf, we headed to the Manchester Art Gallery, but unfortunately it was shut whilst we were there, so instead made it just in time to be able to go inside John Ryland's library which was also free and incredible to explore. After the library we went into the spinning fields which is the financial hub of the city but also home to lots of trendy bars and restaurants. We just had time to pop into Tattoo for a couple of cocktails. The decor in here was so pretty and I'd definitely like to come back at Food for Some Point. the hotel room now I think I mentioned it earlier but we are stopping at the Dakota Hotel in Manchester which so far I would 100% recommend it's an absolutely lovely hotel when you walk in it's so nicely decorated it's got a beautiful lobby area they've got a nice bar and restaurant here as well we are hopefully having breakfast here in the morning so I'll let you know what that's like um, and then we've just checked into the room again the room is gorgeous it's really spacious it's got a nice bathroom as well, which actually has a bath and a shower, which is quite unusual, I find, for hotels. So we're just going to have a quick freshen up, get changed, and then we are off to see Hans Zimmer this evening. 
So for those of you that don't know, um, he's a composer and he composes music for quite a lot of films that you may have heard of. So the likes of Gladiator, Inception, Da Vinci Code, James Bond, um, The Holiday, literally so many famous films. Really looking forward to it. We had originally booked this evening in 2020, but because of COVID, it got postponed. So we are finally getting to go and I am so excited. Um, I've read a few reviews about it as well, that people that have been on this recent tour and people said it was quite emotional. So I've got my waterproof mascara ready. <laughs> down to the hotel bar quickly just to have a drink before we get a taxi to Hans Zimmer. Such a lovely hotel, this bar area is amazing. for breakfast which was absolutely amazing it was such good quality food down there i definitely recommend stopping at this hotel if you do come to manchester and if we come back we will definitely stop here too so last night was absolutely amazing it was so incredible if you do ever get the chance to go and see hans zimmer oh my god definitely go it was worth every moment it was just so incredible and what was actually really nice is just being back in an arena again with all the people in one space and after the last couple of years i honestly didn't think it would be like back to normal again um but yeah it was really nice so we're all packed up in the hotel now and we are going to go shopping for a little while in the trafford center <laughs> On the way to the Trafford Centre, you will also pass Old Trafford um, Manchester United football ground, which also you can have loads of tours on. If that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, that would be quite a good day out. But we headed straight to the Trafford Centre to do a spot of shopping. I've never been before and thought it was an amazing centre. There were lots of high street as well as designer shops.
The centre also has Legoland which is ideal if you're going with children and also SeaWorld is here which is pretty cool. So we're just heading into the food court area now. The middle of it is so cool. It's basically like a giant cruise ship. The Trafford Centre also has the most amazing food court I think I've ever seen, serving every type of cuisine that you could think of. at the Trafford Centre now we didn't actually get to spend that long there um, we were planning on spending the day in Manchester um, but my mum was picking Arabella up from nursery unfortunately she has got Covid um, so we need to go home to be able to pick Arabella up on time so we're just on our way back now um, I really hope that you have enjoyed this vlog of our time in Manchester we didn't get to do everything that we needed to do I just it time just goes so quickly doesn't it when you're away um, but anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye!